Hey guys, what's up? This is Shukesh once again. I hope that you guys are doing great. Today I will be doing a speed test comparison in between these two smartphones. On my right I have the all new Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus and on my left it's the OnePlus 60. Now before I start I want to quickly mention here the OnePlus 60 variant I have here is the 6GB RAM variant which is really unfortunate but I have this version only whereas you get 8GB RAM on the new S10 Plus. Now let's get started with the speed test. First I will try some system apps and some third party apps. This is the dialer and as you can see the oneplus 60 is momentarily quicker i think the transition animation is playing a great role here i didn't tweak with the animation scales the new one ui is actually very graphics intensive very animation rich which is making the s10 plus look slightly slower here on this chrome browser both these phones are responding slower than usual i don't know what's happening so let's move on to the next application which is the gallery app and definitely this time S10 plus is much quicker. Now let's compare the rear cameras. Maybe OnePlus 60 was faster by few milliseconds. But when you relaunch the app it's the S10 plus that is quicker. The RAM management of S10 plus is exceptional, I will talk about that later. Next let me try the YouTube app. Once again OnePlus 60 was faster to respond. Let's check the Play Store loading time. Once again OnePlus beats the Samsung device. So this 60 is the best phone in terms of the speed. One thing we need to really consider here the S10 Plus is yet to be officially available so it may not be ready the One UI might get updated. It was very close on this Amazon application. I think S10 Plus might be slightly quicker, but here on this Flipkart application, definitely 60 is faster than this Samsung flagship here. Next, let me now try these Photoshop applications one by one. Here on this Lightroom CC, S10 Plus beats the 60 by huge margin. Next, we have Adobe Photoshop Mix. Once again, S10 Plus is much faster. So the basic system apps are comparatively slower on this S10 Plus but the third party apps are much snappier than this OnePlus flagship. The One UI is very intuitive and graphics intensive but I think uh, it's a bottleneck for this S10 Plus as far as performance of the user interface is concerned. It's not perfectly matured or optimized yet so the next couple of updates will definitely speed up this Samsung device. The one thing I have to mention here, there wasn't any serious lag or hanging issue or any other problem I have faced on this S10 Plus so far. It's just the interface could be snappier. I'm facing a couple of issues with my Note 9 after the update of One UI 1.0. Luckily those issues are not here on this S10 Plus because the One UI is updated to 1.1 on this new flagship of Samsung. Next, let me try the social apps. This is Facebook and maybe the S10 Plus is faster by few milliseconds. Let me now check Instagram and the loading completed on the S10 Plus before OnePlus 60. So the S10 Plus is the winner. There is Twitter and this time OnePlus 60 beats the S10 Plus. One thing I should mention here, the S10 Plus I have here is the Exynos variant with the Mongoose processors whereas OnePlus 60 is running on Snapdragon processor. Overall in this speed test, S10 Plus did really great especially on third party apps but overall especially on system apps, the OnePlus 60 is the real winner. The reason behind OnePlus' success is the speed of its devices and this 2018 OnePlus flagship is still as good as the flagship of this year which cost twice the amount you have to pay for this OnePlus 60. Now the question is, is it really as good as far as gaming is concerned? Well let's find out. This is Asphalt 9 and S10 Plus is doing better so far. And there you go, OnePlus 60 loses to Galaxy S10 Plus by huge margin. 
Now, one thing that should be considered here, the S10 Plus is at uh, Quad HD Plus resolution, whereas you have Full HD Plus resolution display on the OnePlus smartphone. The next game I have here is PUBG Mobile. Well, in this game, OnePlus 60 managed to win and S10 Plus is also ready. So it's getting very interesting. Let me try a few more games. Next, I want to try Pokemon Go. And this time S10 Plus is the winner. Next, we have Minion Rush. And this time, once again, OnePlus 60 is the winner. The score is right now equal, that is 2-2. The game I have next is Brothers in Arms 3. As you can see guys, S10 Plus wins this time. The last game I will try today is Subway Surfers. And it's ready on the S10 Plus before OnePlus 60, so two consecutive wins for the Samsung device. On the scoreboard, S10 Plus is leading, but overall I think both were neck to neck Overall, I think this new Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus is extremely fast. It's just uh, OnePlus 60 is also very fast and I'm really very happy with the performance of both these phones. Now, if you have seen my previous speed test, you know the RAM management of OnePlus devices are not up to the mark. I mean, it's not efficient. I mean, 6 gig of RAM is more than enough for a smartphone. But OnePlus 60's multitasking capability is not as good as other devices having the same amount of RAM. For example, Note 9 offers much better RAM management than the 60. Let me try to relaunch some of these apps and especially games. For some reason, the Play Store app refreshed on the S10 Plus. But let's not conclude here. Let me try a few more apps. There I have Photoshop Lightroom CC and as you can see, the application reloaded on the OnePlus device. There is the Facebook app and once again it was reloaded on 60. So the RAM management is actually crippled on the OnePlus smartphone to save battery actually. It has never been a strong point for the OnePlus flagships. You might say S10 Plus comes with 8 gig RAM but I'm telling you with 6 gig RAM as well this Samsung device could beat the 60 anytime. Let me check some games before we wrap up this video. I want to start with PUBG Mobile. There you go. And it's still on the RAM of S10 Plus and the OnePlus 60 basically crashed. It happens every time when you reload the game after opening a couple of other games and apps. It has now started from the beginning so your gaming progress is gone. This is something you have to bear with when you go for the 60. Next, let me try this mid-level game that is Subway Surfers. Uh, both these phones have it in the RAM. There is no issue here. Let me check Minion Rush and it is reloading on the OnePlus 60. So in the department of multitasking or RAM management, there is no match for this Samsung device. With 8 gig RAM, it's just overkill, I think. So we are at the end of this speed test and overall considering the price is just half of S10 Plus, uh, this OnePlus 60 is an amazing smartphone. In the multitasking department, it may not be that good. OnePlus really need to look into this. The very premium Galaxy S10 Plus offers the whole package. It's snappy and the multitasking is top class. In the multimedia department, it's better than the 60 and if you have the money, definitely go for S10 Plus. That's all I have for you today in this video. Thank you for watching. This is Shukesh signing off. Have a nice day.